This is football or soccer, depending on where you live in the world. It's a great game. And like most things in life, uh, to get really good at it, you have to practice a lot. One way to practice is to get your team and to get in a big circle and to start kicking the ball around. And so a, a team has got 11 players. So after 11 kicks, it's got back to the goalie at the top. We can try it with two. So here we're kicking it again. And after 11 kicks, we're going to get it back to the goalie. And we can try it with three. Now, this team is not a very strong team, and so they can't kick it any harder than, than, than three. So four isn't possible for them. But they wanted to do something different, and so they wanted to have some kind of choice whenever they're kicking the ball. So some of them wanted to kick it one, and then some two, then one again. And it still had to reach all of the players on the team, and it had to get back to the goalie. So here we're in trouble because that distance is four. Hmm. Okay, so how did they solve it? Well, they started to roll dice, and they said, okay, uh, we'll have six people who are allowed to pass it plus one, and one can pass it plus two, and another one plus three. Let's see if we can use those numbers to, to solve it. And so here we go. So there's our six ones, a two, and a three. And we've got back to the goalie. Oh, but we haven't reached all the people on the team, and we're not allowed to do that. So uh, we have to get all the people in the team. Let's try again. So we'll try a few ones first, and I will try a two, and another one, three, and a one. Ah, we, we got to the goalie again, but we still didn't reach all the players. Okay, photocopy either this sheet or the next one, and hand it out to all of your students along with three dice. The students roll the dice and then they set them on either the plus one, the plus two, or the plus three. And then they have to solve the problem. The problem is to make sure that everybody on the team gets to kick the ball and that the ball ends up where it started, with the goalie at the top. So, why did this not work? 6 1 1. Well, think about how many people got to kick the ball. Well, eight people got to kick the ball, and that's not enough because we've got 11 people on the team. So of course there's going to be a problem here. So one of the requirements that we have is that 4 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 11. We want every time we roll the dice, in order for it to be successful, it has to sum to 11. Otherwise, we're either going to get some people that have kicked the ball too much or some people that don't even touch the ball. Guaranteed. So it has to add to 11. Is that enough? So can we solve this? Okay, let's try solving it. So the kids roll 4, 5, and 2, and let's see. They might come up with something like this. Uh-oh, there's a problem. Some people got to touch the ball twice, and the ball ended up not back at the goalie. What went wrong? Well, let's think about how far the ball traveled around the circle whenever the plus ones hit it. Well, in total, the plus ones hit the ball four people around the circle. And the plus twos, plus two times five, that would be total ten people around the circle. And the plus threes, that would be six people around the circle total. So you add up all of those, and the ball has gone 20 people around the circle. Hmm, there's a problem here, because we've got 11 people in the circle. If we wanted the ball to go around once, we'd need to have those numbers on the right add up to 11. If we want to have it going around twice, they'd need to add up to 22. If we want to have the ball going around three times, they'd need up to, to add up to 33. 20 is not one of those numbers, so we're guaranteed, if, we're, if we were trying to get to 22, we're guaranteed to be too short. And in fact, that's exactly where the ball is. It's, it's exactly two positions short of getting back to the goalie. So that's where the, the problem arises. This is a great time to talk about the commutative property of mathematics. You can see that it doesn't matter how we organize the four ones, the five twos, and the two threes. 
we're always going to get the 20. And so this problem can never be solved because of the commutative property of addition. So here you see, it doesn't matter. We can swap those around any number of ways, and we're still, unfortunately, going to get to 20. Too short of the goalie. What are some of the uh, solutions, what are some of the dice throws that we could get that might lead to a solution? Well, 515 adds to 11, and 5 times 1 is equal to 5, plus 2, that would be 7, plus 3 times 5, that's 15, so 5, 15 plus 7, that's 22. So this is one possible solution that it has the right number of kicks, 11, and has got the right number of people that is passed around, the 22. So here's another so possible solution, 4, 3, 4, and another one, 3, 5, 3. You can check all of these out. They work both for the distance going around clockwise and for the number of kicks. So here's uh, 4, 3, 4, and this is a solution. And this is the, uh, there's many solutions that you can get with 4, 3, 4, but I wasn't able to get any other solutions with any other dice combination. So I think this is it. If you didn't roll 4, 3, 4, I think you're out of luck. Um, it might be that some students want to experiment, and that is up to you. If you want to, uh, if, if you've dabbled into um, subtraction, then you can look at subtraction. Where, how would subtraction look in this uh, simulation? Well, a negative 2 would be counterclockwise. So here would be a solution with negative 2. So we've gone negative 2 four times. That means we've gone counterclockwise four times and clockwise by step of three, six times. Uh, there are other uh, extensions if you want to use different sizes of dice that you can experiment with. This is another um, solution. You can get a solution with this, um, with this 272. So do look for it. It's, it's nice, nice to find. And 191 I don't think has a solution. That's it.